your ball in the trees and then you live out the park. But if you've got a little time, then come and spend it with us. Cause now you're listening to the rough cut. Hello, 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 and good morning from a beautifully sunny Scotland where you join us not in a front room but in the open area of the Royal Hotel in Tain. If you do hear any background noise, I apologise. It's because Kieran has insisted on doing every single podcast that he can in the noisiest venues and known to man. So we are tackling cleaning staff, we are tackling bar staff, we are tackling restaurant staff and the ever hospitable hotel guests. Morning, gentlemen. How are we? Yeah, morning, morning. <laughs> Joined by <laughs> Kieran and by Jacob, of course. And we are in Scotland because we're doing a fair way down. So this is mm. a cycling odyssey, some would call it, from the most northern golf course in the UK at Thurso, all the way down the country, to Mullion, a thousand miles away. We're playing 10 courses along the route, filming all the way, producing some of the best content known to man fusing cycling and golfing content in a way which frankly hasn't been done before have was pick th- think of your favorite your favorite fusion restaurant okay got yep. it yeah that's what it'll be that's where we are right now got you i'll be honest pete we're 35 episodes in and that was probably the least emphatic slash uh energetic intro you've done um I, or and may- i don't blame you maybe it's because i've been yeah no i'm there's no no argument from me here i can I, fully understand why <laughs> i have a lot of miles in my legs yeah and yeah. as soon as we finish this podcast my bruised little bottom is jumping on the saddle yet again and pounding another 50 miles down to inverness it's not that far is it is it that far i thought it was like 30 something um that's i think it's about 40 oh, okay. i think it's about oh, okay 40. We'll, go, we'll, we'll yeah. split the difference uh, how, how is your your bottom um, it's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, you could say that literally about everything, can't you? Yeah. It's not, it's That's not the, true. the largest concern on your body right now. No, no, I, 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 have, I have a couple of weak points on my neck, <laughs> my bum, um, and my legs. Oh, and my back as okay. well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's most, it's nothing important. Y- your feet are all right. Feet are fine. I've only had to put one plaster on so far. Uh, Okay, good. I, I got a little bit worried this morning, actually, because I forgot I'd put a Compede plaster on, if other uh, plaster brands are available. <laughs> but I put a Compede plaster on one of my toes, and I kind of felt it this morning just in the shower. And I was like, oh, my God, I think all the skin's falling off my oh, toe. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, and it was, it was just a Compede <laughs> plaster, so the panic panic was over. That's funny. Um, the oh, that really nice that cleaning, that um, really nice cleaning lady is just yeah. um, tiptoed through, just tiptoed through because Kieran shouted at her. I didn't like shout Kieran, at her. Like, lit, lit picture the scene. Okay, we're in the we're in the we're in the bar area of this hotel, and it's in the morning, so all the cleaning's going on. And Kieran's like, "I've got a great idea. I've got a fantastic idea. You're gonna love this. I want to do the podcast in the bar area." Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> we're living in your world let's do whatever you want to yeah. do <laughs> fine we'll do it so come down here and then the, the cleaning lady says she's going around she's doing a really good job and Kieran's like just strolls out and says excuse me I don't know if you know this but we're doing a podcast in there so do not come into the bar area <laughs> and we're all like whoa, whoa Kieran. that's, <laughs> wow. that's you, you, you're losing it here <laughs> okay Kieran, I just want to I just want to put this in perspective. We are currently the eighth most popular podcast in golf in the UK. I think we're like fortieth <laughs> in the USA. We are not at the stage yet where, where we can, we can where we can go over to Sandra and say, "Do not come in here because we're recording a podcast." <laughs> No, we're not yet. Not yet. But we, we, we're getting there. We're getting there. Kieran used to be such a nice guy. Do you remember that? I do you remember those times. Yeah, it was time. He's ever uh-huh. since his old age of twenty-four. He's uh, he's uh, got a little bit, yeah. got a little bit more ration, a little bit more yeah. brutus yeah. on us. I think. A bit yeah. irascible. Yeah. 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 Bit yeah. irascible. What, it, any comments, Kieran? Uh, no, I mean, I, I always quite like to do a podcast of it, like in different places, and this just seems like a great place. I, I mean, we've got yeah. the TV up there, we've got the logo in the back. You know what? It's I, I, good, I, good. No, it's, that's, so I say, that's, I, that's what we have on every single podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always on show, is it? You know what I mean? Like, this is, I, this I time understand on show. the. I understand the desire. You know, it's nice to sort of. It's almost to make it feel like we're just like on the move and we just pop ourselves down somewhere and here we go. But in terms of practicality sense, it probably wasn't the best move. But this is the perfect one of the fact that the next week's podcast is going to be from a completely different location. Another bar, which is going to be exactly, and we'll, we'll <laughs> probably do the people. same again. Which I think, I think we're in, I think we're in Windermere, aren't we? Is that where it is? Windermere. Well, um, no, we start off in. 
Yeah, no, no. We start off in Carlisle, get to Windermere. So it'd be Carlisle. I think, like, yeah, we're basically at the end of Scotland by next weekend, I think. So, yeah, we'll be we'll be yeah. on the, around the Gretna Green area. Yeah, yeah. Which we love. Yeah, it'll be, Kieran will come on and say, oh, God, that's a great place for the podcast. It's a firework testing facility. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it'll look amazing. They'll be going off in the background, but it'll look yeah, great. it'll look great. <laughs> it'll look great. Kieran, this is a podcast. This is a podcast where audio is... Audio is king. However, if you, king. if you are watching on the YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you, and thank you are listening, make sure you hop over to the Rough Cut Golf Podcast YouTube channel and subscribe because you can understand what we're talking about 100%. as far as where we are sitting. So, and, and see all like the behind the scenes stuff as well. Yes, exactly. We are doing a, a BTS vlog. Uh, BTS, I believe, is behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. That yeah. is the lingo correct, yeah. Down yeah. with the kids. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and so far we have... Because where we started, we, we started at John O'Groats, which if, if you are listening from the US, um, Mongolia, wherever you may be, um, <laughs> John O'Groats is very far north, almost the furthest north you can go um, in the UK. And we went from there to Thurso Golf Club, the most northerly golf course, um, cycling. And then from there, we went down to Helmsdale. Helmsdale, yeah. Lovely old town. And then from Helmsdale, we went to Brora Golf Club yesterday. <coughs> Which was, as you can tell, emotional. Um, <laughs> one of my new favourite courses, to be honest. I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was stunning. It was a stunning place. It, we had it on a very nice day, so yeah. I do have to mm. kind of reconcile that a little bit. Yes. Like sometimes yep. when the sun is shining on a golf course, it is easy to to, to give it probably a higher rating. Oh, than, uh, yeah, for sure. And yeah. and no wind. And no wind do you, as well. Do you have uh, do you have a place that you went where it was raining and it's now just sort of ingrained in your mind that you think, oh, that place was rubbish? To be honest, every single time I go play the Brabazon. Oh uh, yes, the <laughs> yes, it has it's always soaked. It's always mm. soaked. It's always soaked. There's never been a nice day. You're when right. Played there. You're right. Um, so I, I would love, to, and I've played there. I must have played the Brab about eight. 10 times now yeah. I've never played I don't think I've seen the sun <laughs> as, as far as, as far I've been as, three times and it's the same as far as I'm away some like local annoyed wizard has just cast a cloud over that place like he must have had a three pot on the 18th yeah. and just been like the furious. recent one we did was with uh, with the four brothers and on like the first green like everyone's bags just oh, fell over yeah. and that how like the audio for that was actually semi oh okay was a was a weird I, I had to edit it a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like it was <laughs> we, we it, it was usable it, you remember. yeah well yeah actually yeah, that's true <laughs> that was that was that was a bit of a nightmare to be fair we got people um, in from netflix mine mine is, and I, I will apologize immediately to the people of portsmouth but when i went there for a uni open day it smashed it down all day and it's the only time i've ever been to portsmouth so in my mind i've got this picture of like it's just this wet dreary place that I've, i just can't, i can't get out of my head yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i think it's just yeah, it, it is the case. I think it's the same with greens as well. So if you go and play somewhere, like the course could be a bit a bit rubbish, but if the greens are really good, you leave there thinking, oh, you know what? Yeah. It, it sticks in your mind. I said, oh, good greens. <laughs> if you play somewhere which is a really good course, but the greens are shocking, you're like, oh, I didn't like it because like, I just, I just didn't put. Yeah, one that sticks out there is the castle course at St. Andrews. Like, No one kind of said anything about the breathtaking views. Everyone just said the greens are they're like wild yeah so mm. that's uh yeah yeah i know what you mean that's a good point yeah. although the second time we did play uh, the proper time we played that last time over there it was it was good Enjoyed yeah it. it was yeah it was really good um yeah. yeah so i think that has to be taken into account but having said all that and having slept on it yeah Broad is one of my new favorites just it's just a beautiful course beautiful set setting right on the ocean Surrounded by mountains, by water, by wonderful people, great Sh greens. And sheep. And sheep, yeah. yeah. Green, green surrounded by electric fences. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like yeah. Li li literally there's an electric wire which runs around every single green that you've got to step over to keep the, the wildlife off. Um, but I, l I love that. I, there's something about a course which is a little bit untouched. It's a little bit wild. It's a little yeah. bit natural like it's not kind of manufactured it just feels like it's been there forever and it's been that way forever even the water hazards that were like going through the course like the banks they weren't they weren't the railway sleeping in you know the, the water was kind of going where it wanted to yeah. like the wildlife around there it was it was just very natural i, I absolutely love there, that there is a certain charm to a sort of rugged aesthetic sort of not touched by man kind Definitely. of the, the land has created the course rather than we have it it felt like 
I could have played that call 60 years ago and it wouldn't have changed. Yeah. And the greens were pure. They were it stunning. Really, really such, good. such good greens. And the uh, great example of a course that is a pure like nine out, nine back, straight to the furthest point, straight back again. Oh, oh, oh I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It was it, it, like, it's so strange because like you get into Brora. So when I was cycling, I like, got into Brora and hit the, like where the 10th tee is effectively. And I was like, oh, I'm almost there. I just kept cycling. And cycling. <laughs> <laughs> finally got into it. Like, this is the longest course in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I forgot my headphones for um for the you know for the audio and. Do you just hate audio? Is I, that what I, this yeah, is? maybe it's that I just neglect it quite you a lot. Just hate it. It's because it's because of photography. Yeah, I kind of got like we got to the eighth hole and I was like. Jacob, I forgot Jacob was like, well, I ain't got mine either. <laughs> no, Jacob was like, he'll be annoyed at that. <laughs> he'll be really annoyed at that. I've, I've been here for three and a half years. I know what will do he'll it. He'll be really annoyed at that. Um, and it was like, I think it was about 2,000 metres from, because I remember, because I got the drone out from where I remembered I forgot my headphones. So it was about 2,000 metres, so over a mile yeah. away. <laughs> so I had to go all the way back. Unbelievable. And I would come all the way back. As well. um, but yeah, I mean, it was well, one thing good about that course as well. It was very wide. Um, so you had the fairways, a lot of semi rough, yeah. but you could kind of blast it around a bit, which was fantastic mm. for me. Um, what we're doing up here is we, I've come up here with no clubs. So empty bag and every kind of course we play at and there's little meetup locations as well down the country. Uh, one in Inverness, which is tonight, where people can come and donate clubs. Uh, so I'm building a bag as I go down through the uh, down through the country. Uh, first course we played at Thurso, can literally the complete opposite as far as like course style to mm. uh, Brora. So Brora, wide open, kind of rugged links. Thurso, fantastically manicured, like kind of course, wasn't it? it? It was quite weird because, like they said, they only had one full time members of staff, some volunteers, yeah. but the course was just. It, it was, was great. If, it was absolutely prime. If you haven't watched the first video that's that's now out on YouTube, the drone footage of Thurso is amazing. Like how well it's cut and the fairways, and it's just so well defined for what it yeah. is. It's it was I was amazed by it, and it was such a fun course as well. Yeah, for, well, mm. uh, yeah, you're, you're, from my perspective, you'll, you'll watch the video. I, I mean, I really enjoyed the course. I won't say I had a lot of fun. No, there was, but there let's was, put it down to the clubs. There was people watching, yeah. and I papped my pants a little bit um, with a set of clubs I've not used before. I, I would I would say that the quality of golf was maybe not the best that has ever graced the links of Thursday. No. 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 It's not um, a links. Parkland. Yeah, you know. Oh, links. Oh, right. Links is in a course. Got you, got you. We, I mean, we had the privilege of meeting the ladies uh, score uh, course holder for uh, from Thurso. the previous week yeah. from the week before uh, so you were you were graced with some Thurso um, and royalty and Jim as well and Jim 91 year old no, 92. 92. 92. 92. 92 Jim 92. does make a brief appearance in the video good like reading Jim. reading your part good, does he good, oh, handshake. Good, 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 good handshake good handshake Jim yeah oh, if I look at that good at 92 yeah I it, will he be better, very happy he looks a lot better than me yeah, yeah. like <laughs> right now like yeah. literally <laughs> He was still playing golf. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, it's probably it'd be probably quicker on the bike. Anyway, <laughs> I, and the best bit as well is that when Pete got to the next tee, he just pops out his iPhone and starts recording. I'm like, <laughs> oh, did he really? You are amazing. What a boy. He was so you interested are, in the drone as well, wasn't he? Yeah, we had he the drone up, and he, he as he was pulling away, Kieran was bringing it down, and he was like, look at how he's got it. Yeah. And he yeah. came over, was having a chat. It was yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, really nice guy. I wish I could be that. I'd, I'd like to think I'd be that nice if I ever get to 91. But mm. I reckon I'd be right grumpy. No, I think like, I think you're going to slide straight into that grumpy old man thing. kind of. Yeah, I, I I imagine so, but I hope it's ironically grumpy, like I got a reputation for being grumpy. But actually, if you know me, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like if like if we see Pete with his dog, then he's okay. If he's not got the dog with him, then he'll be a bit he'll be a bit I just, irritable. I just I just need a I just need a conversation getting off point. Yeah, <laughs> something to help just, you along. Yeah, I just like I, d I don't understand how people can just go up to somebody else and start talking to him. It blows my mind. Every I time. I don't know how someone can go up to someone and tell them stop doing their job. In you know that's that's what I think. I don't yeah, know. well that's that's what I'm saying. It's like it's one step about going up to someone on a bus stop and just having a friendly chat. It's another step going up to someone on the bus stop said. You can't get on this bus because <laughs> I'm getting on this bus <laughs> and I'm filming a video. So if you could stay here for a bit, that'd be great. Thanks. I've actually just seen Sandra like go outside and walk up and down the road. She's just like literally just kicking, just her, time. Just kicking her heels. 
Oh, you just want to sweep uh, outside for a bit and then come in and then <laughs> she's gonna go right to clean the whole town come back <laughs> um so we <laughs> Bora was Bora was great we played um a subscribe james for a new set of clubs as well um that video is going to be coming out in a couple tomorrow. of days tomorrow yeah if this is out if this is coming out on yes. tuesday then tomorrow yeah wow. oh, you I, I am really going to struggle with days, I think, in a few days. Yeah. I uh, forgot that it was time, the weekend over the last yeah, two days. Yeah, we just had a weekend. I forgot yeah, that. Yeah, so, <laughs> well, that's the thing, like, because it's 20 days and it's non-stop. We're, we're trying to, we're basically trying to do something which we've not really done before at all, where we're kind of day golf and cycling, day cycling. That makes a one video kind of challenge at the course, something, you know, we, we've kind of mostly planned out all these videos. And then edited it on the move. So yeah, it's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Um, over those twenty days, like it, it it's almost rather than like being Thursday, the whatever of August, it's just like day eight. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just like counting down those days. Yeah. So like yesterday we're like, oh, there's a few people about enjoying themselves, yeah, because it's a Sunday, it's a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nah, 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 not for us. Um, so we hopped on the bike from Brora, and then we cycled down to where we are now, yeah, Tain. Tain, yes, yeah, which Tain. is a lovely, quaint little, little yeah, village. very, very near rural Dornoch. I, I have to say, I really want to go back to Dornoch. Yeah. Mm. Again, it's that thing where when the sun shines on somewhere, yeah, cool. But the actual town of Dornoch looked so nice. Like my my GPS and my sat nav for literally an un inexplicable reason, like took me on a three mile detour mm. through <laughs> Dornock. I was confused for, for no reason. <laughs> like, but um, it just wants to get you off the main roads, doesn't it? By the yeah, sounds of it, yeah, maybe. But it was it was one of those things where I was looking at it after, and I was like, I don't understand why yeah, they it, did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they like the you know, the maps has someone behind them. Like just should we just <laughs> should we just yeah, should we just get them to go around here? And then like, oh, they might want a little scenic bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say, yeah. Maybe maybe they wanted you to see it. Maybe that's yeah, just maybe. kind of oh well, you'll find that interesting. Yeah, I did I did find that strange. We're yeah. we're, we're using the advanced technology of uh, WhatsApp live location at the minute to see where Pete is going. Which Brilliant, which is which is doing a great job. Yeah. Every now and then it does an update and I, I do panic a little bit. You do, yeah. It starts it starts flashing red and red always means danger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. when we, when we were in Helmsdale uh, in this amazing hotel mm. and you kind of went offline for like It was like 20, 20 25 minutes, minutes, yeah. In just in the like in the Highlands. Yeah, I mean, in the Highlands. Like, and then when it came back on, then you started flashing red. Yeah, and I knew that your phone was near out of charge. Like all these sort of things, all these factors, like... That was a rough 50 miles that day. Yeah. That that was, so, it was like Scotland in a nutshell, like cycling through these beautiful valleys. Um, started off, it was really still. I went over a few hills, stunning scenery, the ocean, turned through this valley, got massacred by midges. <laughs> like I hit the absolute mother load of midges in Scotland that day. I was, mm. it, it was like, there was not there was no wind which is why all of them were out and i was cycling by a river that was running through the middle of this valley and it was like cycling through a thick fog <laughs> is the best way i can describe it i could see them coming like swarms of them and obviously i was a bit sweaty so as soon as they hit me they were just sticking sticking to, to you yeah. so i was all right on my arms because i could brush them off but i've got bit of bitten on my legs and my face and I, I, there was literally one in my eye the next morning <laughs> it's like grim anyway got through there then it started absolutely smashing it down temperature dropped literally 10 degrees came out the other side then it was warm then i saw a load of deer yeah that that was very cool that. yeah and that, i think that's where it disappeared actually when i was yeah. maybe maybe that's what it was yeah I, frolicking with the deer yeah that was that was that was pretty cool very maybe good that, very yeah good video, that. maybe you just you genuinely didn't move for 25 minutes you were just stood watching the deer it, I, I was watching for a bit because i was quite surprised that i was expecting to stop and I was slowly getting my camera out. And I had the feeling, I was like, as soon as I get the camera out, they're just going to run away. Yeah. But no, got it out. They were just all looking, yeah. wading off into the river. It was it was the most Scottish scene I could think of. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. Definitely, they definitely picked me up until I'd I got have, into Helmsdale. Yeah, I'd have stayed there for, for a while. Yeah. Just to, I, I might not even have filmed. I'd have just, no, no. just taken it in like that. That was so cool. Yeah, that was, that was kind of like, say, the first genuine kind of day of what we're doing here. Obviously, you're playing 18 holes and then getting on the bike and cycling for 50 miles. Today is a little bit less as you said looking at sort of 40 miles and then we've got there's is it the um the cycle to fort william is that tomorrow 
Fort William Day is going to be is horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's like sixty odd, it's sixty miles, I think, and, and then eighteen holes. It's then eighteen holes. However, however, I love I, that you can find positives. Yes, I, I do want to say positive. As I was planning the route out, um, I thought I'd have to go along like a very very busy A road, but there is a another road which I can take, which is a huge positive, uh, and it also runs right down side of Loch Ness. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Mm. Yeah, not, I've never seen. For, I don't really know. I know. It, I know of it, but I don't really know what to expect. Really, of it. I, I've Monsters. seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Loch Ness monster. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen bits on you know TV shows and bits and pieces, but obviously you can't capture that in <laughs> the no. way you can get in person. No, I've, been, I've, I've been there before. It's a it's a very pretty place. The only problem is like the A road is on one side. I'm on the other side. There's a castle there. I think it's Urquhart, Castle Urquhart, which is like a stunning little one, which is set out into the lock a little bit. So I'm on the opposite side of that. So oh. I might be able to see it. But well, me and Kieran might go. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can get the drone out to <laughs> it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a that is going to be a killer. But it's fine. Uh, look, look, we're <laughs> it's not going to be a killer for us. We're quite enjoying our van, aren't we? Yeah, we minute, are. Which is uh, we are. Yeah, we've got yeah, a big, nice big shout out to Liam for sorting us out there. Yeah, yeah, that, nice yeah absolutely van. loving it. It's, um, I mean, yesterday, when we got out of the car yesterday, um, it, the the back was a mess. It's it's getting progressively we've, worse. We've got, like, lots of biscuits in there and, and pot noodles and your protein stuff, like, and, and another bike medical just in case. Box medical and... box. About seven tubs of Vaseline, about <laughs> four it's tubs it's of important. pseudocreme. Not use any pseudocreme yet, actually. No, I, was, no. I, was, I, was, I was expecting, a, the, listen, the... 12 pound Amazon padded cycling shorts are doing a job doing a job <laughs> good good it's, it's, it. uh, it's one thing I've noticed about it's the same I, I, know, I know it's the same in every single sport like as soon as you do cycling golf sailing you know mm. in all these kind of sports which are I would I would class as still a little bit kind of middle class mm. Like golf is getting a hell of a lot better, but the majority of people who play golf, certainly from when I was growing up, were, you know, older people with a little bit more money. Yeah. And I think a lot of cyclists that you see are kind of like is it mammals. It's mammals, isn't it? Middle-aged men in Lycra. That's oh, right, the, yeah. Right, that's, okay. the, that's a good kind of saying. And as soon as you get to like one in a nice pair of cycling shorts, it's like 100 quid. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm, I, I, I got grumpy old man pete and i was like northern I'm, pete i am out. not paying 100 quid for lycra <laughs> and a cushion i'm not <laughs> i can make that i'm not doing that that is absolutely out of order i was like i can't do that I'm, I'm, and i'm sure they're absolutely wonderful but yeah just got on amazon these and they've been great to be honest yeah. I, I've, I've, I've been surprised I've, i thought they'd be i thought something would go wrong like the arse would fall out of them and I'd, <laughs> the padding would move yeah, around i'll be, be cycling for 30 miles with my bum show into the traffic <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> How many have you got? Uh, I've got. I want to say I had about fifteen. Oh wow! Fifteen? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we've got twenty, twenty days. I got fifteen, five for contingency, just in case anything goes wrong. And then halfway down, we've got a stop uh, uh, place where to go and wash them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Was, cool. uh, that, that I, was I like that. Fifteen. Basically, just get yourself ready for one a day. I suppose yeah. why not? Yeah. Yeah, and you've got your. Uh, where did you get your tops from? Um, Decathlon. Decathlon, and but you've got the uh, the logo got, on there got, as well. Got, got, got more logo. Actually, yeah. that's pretty smart, I must say. Yeah, no, honestly, like I've been, I, I do look the part. You, you do. do. Like, yeah. The yeah. bike from Billy Bills and is wonderful. One the Oakley shades as well. Yeah, that, yeah, that definitely o makes Oakley it. Oakley shades are the yeah does make it, and the GoPro on the top is another one as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I, I think all around, you know, I do I do look the part. Yeah. One thing about uh, doing John O'Groce the Lands End as well is. The, the real the real connection that you have with other riders as you go past you just look at each other just give the wave and there's a connection there. it's an immediate yeah. assumption that that is also what they are doing yeah. like yeah, yeah. why are you cycling up here <laughs> there's no other yeah. reason you must be going up have to John you, O'Groats have you had like a peloton come past you yeah <laughs> no, like no. they just overtake well, you he grabbed onto the yeah. so chasing pack so if you're going to do obviously the video we are doing is is the kind of most northerly course of the most southerly. You know, it's, it's not been done before. But we wanted to tag on John O'Groats and Land's End at the end of the ride, mm. just so we can say, oh, so we've, we've done, done that, we've done that yeah. as well. But the route we're taking is a little bit different because we're kind of veering off. We're adding on a fair bit of distance, actually. But I think we're adding on, like, literally about 200 miles with what we're doing. Really? Yeah, yeah. 
because like we, there's no need to go from Inverness over to Fort William. You just carry on down. You carry on, yeah, d- yeah, yeah. Well, I'd yeah. imagine even that, like at the end with Mully into Land's End, like there'd be a more direct way to get yeah. to that. Oh, yeah, you've yeah. got to get out the way to get to Mully. And yeah, yeah, definitely. So we did that. So it's not quite like full on pelotons, and it, it thing is like that'd be funny. It is a <laughs> it's a tough <laughs> ride. <laughs> it's like it's a tough ride. Yeah. Like if if and a lot of people who do cycling as a hobby. Yeah, they can't take like weeks off end to, to go yeah. do this. So I know. it's only a few people that you see that you know that have been on the, the hard road for a bit. Yeah, yeah. They've booked holiday for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is their idea of fun. <laughs> yeah. They've decided they wanted Absolute to do this. Absolute sickos. Okay. Doing it. So yeah, I've not had that yet. The one thing which was really nice yesterday actually going past uh, Dornick had two um cars come in the opposite direction. Basically honk and like like proper like give us a, 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 a genuinely wave. nice. Oh, really? yeah, yeah. So, oh. there's, so there's obviously a few people kind of like going past to kind of follow the channel and what we're doing. Yeah, which is really really cool. Oh, I enjoyed sweet. that. Oh, that amazing. Nice. That, that's that's very cool. It, it, it definitely gives me a pickup. I definitely cycle oh, a little bit yeah. faster. Um, I completely forgot to ask you about this. When we set off from Thurso and you were you were cycling through, I think it was on one of the back roads or something. I think it was on that day. There was a car that was like really slowly behind you and then eventually actually like pulled up and was like talking to you. Do you remember this? Oh, the Mustang. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it, it, I think because that row was quite narrow, um, he just didn't want to... Oh, right. He, so he, he didn't want to pass too oh, right, I thought it was the one actually no, saying no, that. No, no. So when I, when I pulled over, he wound down the window and said, yeah, sorry, I just didn't want to... Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to be too oh, close. so nice. Which was, which was quite nice. Lovely. So I told him to get a move on. I thought it was because like... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was big, yeah. I thought he was telling you off because you thought like maybe because you've got your audio book in that you like didn't hear him and you no, were just no, no, no. Take, oh, just, right, no, that's, just that's, had a, just had a chat. Yeah, that was nice. That's lovely. Um, the thing, like most of the roads we're going on, trying to stay off the main A road, so yeah. it's like um, there's like passing points. So yesterday going down, there was a lot of passing points where I pulled over and the cars went past. Mm. Everyone's been really friendly so far. I've not had any issues at all. Well, they must, they must get it a lot, don't they? You know what I mean? They yeah, must, yeah, they yeah. Must get you it can tell lot. that the drivers around here are yeah. prepared for it. Mm. England might not be as... <laughs> as get up the road! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of the places we're going beep, are... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we're not like... I don't know, no. I, 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 to be honest, so far, I'm feeling pretty positive about the roads. I thought I'd be more scared than I would be, but yeah. everything's been fine. Probably just because I'm a, an elite rider right now. Yeah. You know, you're keeping up a good um, a good pace. Cause where, I, where was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? There was yesterday on a road where there was a downhill bit, and I was flying. I'm like, it was 40 miles an hour do, down that hill. Uh, do you have, <laughs> on your Garmin, do you have the speedometer? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's very cool. It was, I was that's absolutely cool. fine. It, it's never been that fast before. It was definitely too fast. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able yeah, to Yeah, my, keep my eyes that. were wide. It was like the wheels, like, you know when... Because those, those wheels are thin as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. When, when you have a car, like, one, I used to have a car that, like, as soon as it got over 80, it used to shake. <laughs> so like yeah, it's, it's called your car now <laughs> yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> yeah that is your car <laughs> so like it, does it do that does it kind of like wobble and shake a bit um, not really well the thing is like when, when it's like when you go that fast like uh, you, you don't feel the bumps certainly like the, the little bumps right. quite as much because you're just flying over them so quick yeah. If you were to hit a pothole, obviously yeah. at that speed, you'd be over the handlebars. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Something does go wobbly, but it's, yeah, prob- yeah. it's probably your stomach. <laughs> yeah, so I need, I need to be a little bit more yeah. sensible with that. But it, it's more the it's more the climbs that are kind of the the more, the more difficult bit. Yeah, mm. and the mm. wind and the rain. And yeah, the and you, you, yeah, the rain. We've had what that kind of half hour smash down. But apart from that, that it's been pretty good. Yeah, and, a little bit yesterday, but yeah, and we're meant to have a heat wave. Yes. Coming up. I, I, no, I, was, I, was, I was saying this the other day. Just come back to me when there's actually a heat wave. Yeah. It's the most British thing in the world. Anything that creeps. Gets over 20. Yeah. Anything that creeps towards 25 yeah. is like the world is going to end. That's called summer. <laughs> that, it's just as a country, we are not. We are not suited to it are we we're not prepared no, we're just, we're just so dramatic about it as well but like, no, we, we have had a an, an awful summer oh it's been so rubbish like yeah, it's been any, rank, any yeah. sort of bit where it's like oh we're actually gonna maybe get I a bit lo- I, when you told me last night I was happy about it to yeah, be honest yeah 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 I'd, I'd, I'd rather cycle in I mean obviously when you cycle you don't want very hot weather because you need to kind of constantly drink yeah, um, be, yeah. so that wouldn't be ideal but 
I'd, I'd much rather cycle through a beautiful 25 degrees with yeah, the wind agree. whipping around my body to keep me cool mm -hmm. rather than 10 degrees and smashing Mashing it down. down with rain, washing off the midges which are eating me alive. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one I'd rather pick. <laughs> Um, the, the, the worst one would be, let's say we get down to where we need to be in Dartmoor and there's that day where we're cycling all uphill. Uh, yeah. like if it was hot then, then like, you'd struggle. that's going to be a pain. Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to kill me. But yeah, other than that, we're fine. Um, and we've also raised a lot of money as well. What are we up to now? We, we were up to, well, as time recording, it was just over £3,000. So Is that pretty good. with or without gift aid as well? Oh, yeah. With gift aid, it's like another... 500 <laughs> no it's good I mean thank you everyone who has donated so far yeah. obviously we're yeah, on this for, for 20 days and we're going to be getting more more and more kind of pour in we've got a fundraising target of 10k which if we manage to get to that would be absolutely amazing and it would bring our charity donations up this year to, to levels hitherto unseen mm. so hopefully we can kind of get there and get beyond this well, yeah. which would be lovely yeah 100% yeah, it's, no, it's, we, we are two days in, but it feels so much more. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but like it's th this this whole thing is not even started yet, really. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, next time ne the next time you're going to hear from us on the podcast will be in probably in England. Yeah, yeah, we'd have we'd have gone through two different countries. It, it's just like it's just day by day, yeah, knocking off, keep churning them out, knocking off the hours. Yeah, get through the audio books. I'm going to have to buy more credits on Audible. <laughs> Other. I was going to say other audio book platforms are available, but I don't really know if there are. Do you know that could have been like the perfect segue? And oh, is this thank you to the sponsors of this podcast. <laughs> oh, that would have been good, yeah. I mean, if Audible do want to sponsor this podcast, they sponsor everything else. So come on, come at me. I've been I've been plowing money into your platform over the last few days. <laughs> so do you have to you have to buy? It's like you like buying the book, and then yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. right, right. So yeah, they're so not you, free. Don't you, right. When you don't you get like a free book a month or something as well with. No, you gotta you gotta pay for it. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay for it. You, you, there are free um, books on there. Nothing right. in life you, is free. Yeah, usually they're there for like limited times. Right. So there's one a while ago that um, it was like the complete uh, Sherlock Holmes books, uh, read by Stephen Fry, I think. Oh, nice. Wow. Um, and it was literally you, you, when you when you get the audio books, it's like ten hours. So you got ten hours of listening. Like looked at that, and it was like four hundred and fifty six hours of. Like wow, <laughs> I, I, I'm that, making, that's I'm, what you needed. I'm making that number up, but it is like it's very high. Wow, but I've already I've already read them all. So, well, you can have Get someone something read them to you now. What are you reading at the moment? Um, I am reading. Well, listening. Listening. To, yeah, listening. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that like the overarching name is the Rivers of Rivers of London. Uh, I can just check for you. I I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, it's the Rivers of London was the first book, but I think the like the overarching name is the Rivers of London. Right. So I've got through the Rivers of London, but that was before kind of we came away. Then Moon Over Soho. Yesterday I was deep in whispers on the ground, and I've just moved on to Broken Homes. Oh wow! So you're through three books now. Uh, four now. Four. Yeah, th three on this trip and four overall. And and you're you're taking it in and you you kind of you're understanding it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's fair play. Well, it's good. I mean, it's a great way to kind of get through stuff. Yeah, that I, is, yeah. I, For the last, I want to say half an hour of the trip yesterday, I listened to some music, mm -hmm. and that that was actually really good because I, I turned on the music as we went over the bridge on the oh, right, yeah. like. And it was spectacular. Mm. And it was. What yeah. did you have? Some it <laughs> Lord of the John Rings. Williams and. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just put on um, like a Spotify playlist. All the uh, music streaming services are available. Uh, and it was just like a cycling playlist. Um, but as I went over that bridge, it was like a dance remix of Smooth Operator. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, I was, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. and it was kind of like, it wasn't oh, quite. I know what you mean. It's been yeah. trending. It, yeah. it yeah. wasn't quite as like dramatic as I thought it would be. It was a bit, of, it was quite funny as I was going over. So I could see the drone like flying past my left ear. This was like, and I look at it and I was like, I thought operator. I did see your head just bob a little bit. <laughs> Jiving along. <laughs> Oh, oh, good. Good, um, right? But uh, probably apart from our little trip, obviously the golf world is uh, there's other stuff going on. Shall yeah, we say? some somewhat forgot that the uh, life goes on without us, not in the yeah. the, the places we're meant to be. I can't believe everybody's. Why is no one why, just why, stopping why, and letting why, us do it? Why is the golf world not ground to a halt as they're doing oh, this? It's, it's absolutely shocking. Oh yeah, well, yeah, well. Anyway. Um, one thing, so 
a couple of things from from yesterday. I suppose I would say that this is bigger news in in regards of like a single event. Bryson shot fifty eight. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's big news. So the the one thing you would say the the biggest argument the biggest argument about um, the live tour is it's not it's not a competitive tour because there's no court and it's a fifty four hole event. There's other stuff that they're doing which people don't like. However, however, even if you don't think it's as, as competitive as the PJ Tour, which it's not really with without the cuts, but shooting a 58 is unbelievable. Oh, that's incredible. Golf. Yeah, I think yeah. he had 13, 13 birdies, birdies one bogey. with a bogey as well. Yeah, yeah, bogey on eight. That, that is just unbelievable golf. Well, it's so a, you know it's it's an it's an individual performance whether. You know, whatever event or whatever tour it's it's done on is still a remarkable feat to do. the the um, The commentary for his final putt was was good. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah, that. Uh, uh, Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think they're trying to get. Obviously, they're they're trying to do things a little bit differently. So that kind of commentary, I I didn't it, mind it. It, it, it. I didn't mind it either. It came across as quite. You noticed it was different. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's not. It didn't sound like golf get. commentary. No. No. Exactly. It's not normally what you get, so it did come across, and you're like, "Oh wow, kind of cracky." That's a yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You kind of you got pulled what, along with it a little bit. What what I think made it for me, and I I want to commend Bryson on not only for shooting a wonderful 58, but his his celebration was so golfer in the way he sort of did this starfish jump up in yeah. the air. It, it that made it for me. That was yeah. the best part. <laughs> it was his little <laughs> jump in the air. It was so good. Kind, um, of, kind of reminiscent of like Phil Mickelson as well, isn't it? Oh, it, did, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, 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 I did really yeah, enjoy that. It, there's, there's, there's very few golfers who celebrate well. Oh, uh, he, 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 his like nerdy side came out yes, there. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. There's always like I think obviously Tiger was the best at celebrating, like yeah. the, the fist bump, and he, you could. He, it was, yeah. it was good. Like he, Tiger. There's a few good ones. So there, he, he ramped, he ramped you up. Yeah. There was very few awkward moments with Tiger. Um, the few like awkward high fives with Stevie Williams at times. Well, that's that's gen- golf. But generally <laughs> pretty solid. Uh, but most of the times golfers, when they do something exciting, they just don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a pure like, if I were to put like a sound effect, it was like a yippee. <laughs> like, <laughs> very good, like he, very good. He, he just, yeah, he, he, he sort of, yeah, braced his arms out into the air. And I say it was his, it was his little bit of his stats nerd sort of guy yeah, yeah. character coming through there. But no, unbelievable. And then even probably again, another unbelievable feat is Celine Boutier winning back to back weeks. Back to back. Yeah. She, so she won at Dundonald Links, which we are at in like three, uh, three days time. Something like that. Uh, right. Yeah. So we're going to get, we're going to get in very good condition. Uh, yeah. Oh, to, yeah. To win back to back. And I mean, that's, I think winning back to back in golf is one of the hardest things to yeah. do with like literally the, the whole of sports. Definitely. The yeah. whole of yeah. sports. Like the amount of the the depth of the fields that generally you're playing against, the travel in between, like the, the physical and emotional toll that it takes on winning. To do it back to back is so it's and so cool in, so good you know obviously w- once in France once in England in, or Scotland sorry in two different types <gasps> of golf courses I corrected myself wow um, typical typically English attitude you know on, on, on two very different types of golf courses so she's you know having the ability to switch the game up that quickly and now going into the British Open the Women's Open at Walton Heath coming this week as well mm. another different course another one yeah back uh, to back Heathland. to back that would be quite something with two majors in there and a Scottish Open that would be pretty remarkable mm. hitting form at the right time Come on, you. I would say um, definitely with the Solheim coming up and everything yeah, yeah. like that yeah, oh, good, yeah. good news for Europe someone yeah. who didn't quite hit form in time Justin Thomas mm. oh that was sad that so uh, to get through to the FedEx uh, Cup playoffs uh, which are no cut events <laughs> 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 I, I think they've got events. No, I think. Well, de- definitely the the, the, the tour championship. The tour, the tour, the tour championship is yeah. Um, um, so basically, the FedEx Cup is the the last events on the PJ Tour, um, all building up to the Tour Championship, mm. and where you finish, uh, it, it, you kind of get cut down every every event as well. So by the yes, time you yeah, get to the Fe- FedEx yeah. Cup, it's a very limited field. Yeah. Uh, the leaders start on a lower score mm-hmm. uh, than the rest, and then it's up to everyone else to try and catch them. Mm. So. Justin Thomas needed to get into the top 70 players 
on the FedEx rankings to make it through. And he finished... 71st. With, I have to say, a... Did you see the chip on the yeah. last? Did you see his second shot from the trees? Oh, yeah, the the whippy around the one. Whippy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, was, that, was, that was just as impressive. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where golf is... It's one of the reasons why events with cuts work really well because it adds that level of drama Definitely. there's something on it at the top end and also at the, the middle and the bottom of the mm. pack you know there's always something to actually play for um and yeah that chip that he hit it was a beautiful shot kind of a little bit more release on that kind of second bounce than maybe he wanted hit the middle of the pin and just stayed out so mm. missed out by one adam scott i think was one back as well yeah so he was 70 uh, 70 second so um yeah but around um around kind of Justin Thomas, obviously it was important because realistically, if he wanted to get in the Ryder Cup team, he kind of had to make it through. Because mm. he needed to keep playing essentially, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what his options are because he could... DP? He could try and get a few DP World Tour events in, um, but the ranking points on those are very low mm. and they, they won't do anything to his... <laughs> I, US I don't. I, I think he's at a point now where he can't think about automatic. He's just got to try and get some golf in and play really well and just get picked. That's what I was going to say. He can still get picked through the captain. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He can, but like realistically, he's not played well all year. No, no. no. Like, and then you know, obviously he he knows that it's and one good week, maybe not even. He'd need to put in three, four solid weeks of golf. Yeah, he'd, he'd need to do something, and that's thing. He's not going to be able to no so no. if he's relying on a, a captain's pick and you know he's still a fantastic player it'd be a great addition but he's just not been playing well so to convince Zach Johnson US captain to to pick him it's going to be tricky yeah you got to think kind of like he is obviously very experienced but if you're someone who's been playing well and is in the shout for that those picks you'd be a bit miffed if you don't get it yeah, ahead of him yeah 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 because he, he'd get in really down to his experience on it if he was to be picked yeah, be, in, it, in the end of the day it'd be, it'd be a bit of a legacy pick yes definitely, exactly yeah yeah. yeah yeah so you'd be a bit like if you're I don't know who's sort of in and around that area but you kind of think that you're within a shout and then you get picked over J2 who's had a yeah, I mean, bad season it's like yeah there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of guys who are ahead of him I'll, yeah. I'll kind of put it up now but he's obviously we've seen in the past especially more with Team Europe and maybe that's just down to the fact that they don't have or haven't had in recent years that much of a wide berth to pick from. But you've got guys like um, Sergio and Ian Poulter who have been wildcard picks that they just get picked because it's the Ryder definitely. Cup. Definitely. The, the Ian Poulter's last year, or a couple of years ago, was definitely one you of them. You know, like, like Sergio's as well. Like, yeah. the fact he, you know, he was told, like, you, mm. you've got to go away and try and get your game in good shape, but I'm going to pick you because... Yeah. You you will, and eventually he did become European mm. top point scorer. Mm. I mean, you've JT got... could be in a similar vein, could yeah. be, but he he does. It's there's no real um, American he, at the moment. I feel apart from maybe Patrick Reed that has that kind of Ryder Cup player attraction of like Definitely. this. They will step it up at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. And like with the like JT's game, obviously a world world class player when he's when he's on form. It's not like he's got anything particular about his game that would suit. Marco Simone, other than you know, yeah, more more than other people, yeah, um, ahead of him as well. So these are, these are outside the automatic pick so far. You got Max Homer, Cameron wow. Young, Jordan Spieth, Keegan Bradley, Colin Morikawa, Ricky Fowler, Sam Burns. Yeah, so they're all ahead of him. He ain't going as far as like the rankings. So to oh. get have one of those guys miss out. Mm -hmm is going to be tough because they've been a lot more consistent throughout yeah. the year. Yeah, I, I, I mean, apart, apart from Ricky Fowler, but he is, he's on the up. Yes. Yeah, he's moving in the right direction. But, yeah. So, you, so who you, does Spieth go that, with? But that's they say, you mentioned Ricky, that would, if uh, if the Thomas Spieth partnership gets broken up, that would be, That'd be I would, be I would see Fowler Spieth him, straight away. Yeah. If, if, Spieth, if Spieth gets picked. The one <laughs> thing you would probably say though is, is after Thomas, as far as the US team goes, I think, Pretty much everyone there. You've got Harris English, Tony Fee now. Mm -hmm. Everybody else would be a rookie, like literally down to the 30th pick of Gary Woodland. So right. he's, he's maybe got something there where he has a little bit more experience. But yeah, he's got a decision on his hands, old Zach. 
He does. God is this in his hand. Will he pick himself <laughs> or not? <laughs> he will not pick himself. <laughs> he will yeah. not I'm pick gonna, himself. He'd do a job there to is that. no way he would get away. I'm gonna carry that. David's narrative all the way through to the start. I'm gonna I'm gonna no. back him. No, I think he's made a wonderful call. Absolutely not. Um <laughs> congratulations, uh Lucas Lover for the win as well. It's very emotional on the last hole there with his uh family around. Um very good. I, I like Lucas Glover's swing. I think he's one of those players again who is great ball striker, just held back by his putting. Like yeah. he's, he's fiddled around so much within the last few years. So glad to see him get over the line. Sad for our mate Billy Horschel. Didn't yeah. quite get it done, but good to see, see him, him back return up to there. form. Yeah. What's his status in terms of the, in terms of the FedEx Cups? Well, well, that or, or the Ryder Cup picks. I was um, thinking. Ryder Cup. He's, Ryder Cup. He's away from it. I he's think. down. He's, yeah, he's yeah. not been to the Ryder Cup, is he? He's no, done the he's president, done the presidents. Yeah. And he was. Yeah, I remember that was his first president. Him and him and Max played together uh-huh. quite a bit in that. Yeah, he's down down there fifty. He had. A, I think he had a bit of a stellar run into that Presidents Cup as well yeah. to get him in. He yeah. was. He played some really good golf. No, it's it's really good to see him back. Obviously, like he's he's kind of been well documented over the last month or so not only struggling with his golf but also mentally with the game which is something we see with a lot of players that it will you know <laughs> they if they want to have long careers no one's ever going to have a long career and not have struggles with the game at some point so it's just nice to see that he's back back to where he is maybe it's the little little team talk we had with him at the right at the open yeah. I'm completely hit, making this up fact, but I'm going to pretend hit, that we had a nice little huddle with him yeah, and, the fact yeah. that he hit the crossbar from yeah. 20 feet no I was, I was just thinking about when we you know we all took him out for coffee and we sat him down and oh, had a chat yeah. with him do you, do you not remember yeah yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Did I, no yeah. maybe I'm no, just no. imagining it at no. the 21st amendment yes exactly yeah yeah, yeah. 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 we had a good old chat with him he's, uh, he has just missed out on he's, he's missed out on the FedEx as well oh, so yeah. it, it was one of his I mean when when we spoke to him I think it was like September last year. It was like that, that was his goal, wasn't it, to try and make the right? Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what he, he really. He, wanted, so. I mean, he he really kind of buys into team sport. I think obviously you've seen with the West Ham stuff, he mm-hmm. loves that kind of side of things. And I think Ryder Cups are something he's definitely on his agenda. Him and Matt Wallace are the two people that always stick in my mind when it comes to Ryder Cups. Who when I, who I've met, who in conversation are like want to be in. pushed on yeah. by wanting to be in a Ryder Cup team. Uh, I've, I, I remember when we played with Matt, which was a while ago now, but he was convinced, it seemed, that he was going to get in and he didn't get picked. Mm. And I think he's still still one that wants to come back. But Billy's got a good celebration as well. Like he, he's like <laughs> got a... You know, he's got a killer instinct. So I reckon he'd be good on, on the old 1v1. Yeah, I think... Um Again, it, it kind of shows a little bit. This is one of the, the really good things about golf, like the Ryder Cup, is that it's a... Yes, it's a team sport, but there's no kind of money involved. And it shows just how much that the players want to play in it. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's 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 the biggest event as far as European and American golf go. So yeah. it's a oh yeah, what is why why people love it so much. Yeah. Really can't wait to get over there and, and give it a watch. Not long now. No, Not long now. no, it won't be. I'll be I'll be out there. I want to get some inside the rope passes though. I don't want to be ride a cup. Yeah, yeah. I want to be stumbling around on the inside. <laughs> I can't wait for that video to come out by the way. That is Oh the, 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 the yeah. that is gonna I'm, be I'm, you know, I'm, I'm maybe not looking forward to quite as much coming out, but it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going it's, it's it's to be a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna a good be a video. Good watch. <laughs> <laughs> good long watch. Yeah. Wow. Um, prepare yourself. That's all I'm saying. You, you're going to see, you're going to see a different side to me and a different side to that course. Oh my wordy, wordy, wordy. <laughs> um, right. So I think we should probably wrap it up because I need to yeah, get, get, get yeah. my ass on the road. Yeah. What's the time? Uh, it's half past ten. Half past ten, yeah. You need to. I've got probably probably four hours ahead of me on the bike. I think today. I reckon you could do it less than that. Could do, but I was having a look at the route before. It's a bit of a oh yeah a the, mountain the, in the middle of it. He was, oh, at, was, uh, he was at breakfast this morning. <laughs> then all of a sudden he goes, oh <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's a bit of a slope. When I looked at the one for yesterday, it even popped up saying like very steep hill. Yeah, yeah. This, but it wasn't. This one's like a five hundred foot climb, isn't it, or something like that. Um, it, it's not so much. I mean, five hundred foot as straight up. <laughs> that's yeah. That's the thing. So, like a five hundred foot climb, if it's a gradual one, that, that's, elevation, it's fine. It, it's fine. Like you can just just power through. This one is a uh, is up. I get to the bottom. Are you, are you yeah. off the saddle? Um, I, you know what? I've been pretty resident. The, the very good thing about that bike and the, the way the gears working is I don't have to get up. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I can just like power on up. It, it kind of burns a bit, obviously, but my legs are just like 
tree trunks. Solid out that hurt, by the way. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that, I'm trying to get the massage gun on them every night, and it's it's sore. We were um, it's deep, so quite we, tight. We were set up doing some editing last night, and I, I said to Jacob, I was like, "What's that like?" He was like, "This is like yeah. a." We were like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> I thought it was. I literally thought it was going going you mad, and then things. I was like. Yes, t- you're next door. I, you are right because so what I've been doing is I've is that's a back massager. Yeah, um, but I've been getting that. I've been having that on my back, wrapping it around my neck, doing those two. So I was probably pressed against the wall, maybe. Yeah. Whatever. And then I've been wrapping it around my legs as well, like getting the massage gun. But it's been working. I think I might try and get some of those pants, those like what cool pants? cool pants, recovery pants. Oh, I I sent I sent him. He yeah, needs yeah. those um those like. You know those ones that the footballers have oh, where the they have the whole length. Black, yes, those black ones. Yes, yes, yes. Where yes. in those trousers. Yeah, they look so cool. Have we have we resorted to any sort of like ice bath or kind of no. cold shower? No, I, I don't believe it. No, okay. It's it's just a fad. Okay, fair enough. It's just a fad. I am gonna wait. I've said this before. I'm gonna wait for all the scientific research to come back around again when everyone sold out of ice baths and all of a sudden. Everyone's going to be like, you know what's really good for you? You know what's really good for you? Not bad. Saunas. <laughs> <laughs> and steam rooms. And, and the Scandinavians are yeah. rejoicing. Like, and then, and then I all, knew I installed it in my back room for yeah. nothing. And then all of a sudden, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, you know what you should do? You know what you should do? Sauna. You should get in a sauna. <laughs> and then all the podcasts are going to be littered with, you know, Jeff coming on, you know, I spent 24 hours in a sauna and now my body is fully recovered. I actually <laughs> left there and I can now fly. It's incredible. The, the, you'll be on a diary and CEO. You see, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, this yeah, yeah. My God. Sauna every day and only eat beans and you will live an extra five years. You know what? I'd rather die five years I'm earlier. So, I'm so off topic. <laughs> so off topic. But there's, a, he just did one recently with the diary of CEO where apparently there's a guy that's aging backwards. Like a Benjamin Button. So, yeah, so he's like, he's doing all these like recuperation work. Mm. He has a certain amount of things that he takes every day and he's now aging the other way. Oh, uh, is it? Is it? So, yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? So yeah, he says, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thing is with the sauna fad, if that came back around, that's something I would actually, not, I wouldn't get involved in it, but I would be, I'd be okay with that. The cold showers I'm not doing. No, that it's, to be honest, it's more like, so, I have, re- I have researched that. So, cold water immersion so it's not it's not just taking an ice bath. It's got a proper name. So it it That's does sound sciencey. Yeah, it does. It does aid recovery. It does aid recovery. And if you can mix the two up, like going from hot to cold, like that, kind of really helps. Mm. But it's just like well, you can do it at Dundonald. Yeah, I can. And and to be honest, like if, if I really wanted to, like the the North Sea, actually, there, yeah, yeah, and I could run out there and and jump in. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the correct <laughs> answer. But I will, I, I will try and see um, what these, what these pants cost. I, I'm not aware of these pants, but no, I don't know I'm not pants. a cyclist. I only so know the, 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 the full, full body. They, they, I, bet they they're, they're, I bet they're expensive. Yeah. Does anyone know what like that massage gun I'm using is? The Theragun or something in it, or it, it's an, it's not a Theragun. Oh, I I um, heard it before. Um, like Pulse, something like that. It, no, no, it's Pulse I'll, Roll. Or Pulse Roll. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go on Therabody. It's kind of like a like vapor, vapor something or other. But that's a Nike Iron. Recovery Pulse. <laughs> Compression wear. Recovery Air. These are the bad boys. There you go. Oh, what what absurd noise are we going to start hearing that's now? The, that's is the, it literally the socks? What? They're the, they're oh right, the things. The, the things. Right. Okay. Yeah. This this is definitely something like. Diary of a CEO would be like when he's chatting to people, said, Oh, have you seen these things I'm wearing under the desk? They're, they're helping my legs recover from my six hour workout this morning. It's bugger off. I've, I've not <laughs> diary of CEO. You know, you know, what, you know what, annoys me, what annoys me the most about it? Oh, he's getting, he's getting irate right now. I love what, what annoys me about it when you see these podcasts is like, I am fully aware that I'm doing this. By the end of it, hopefully, I'm, well, I'm going to be a bit broken, but I'm going to be fitter. I'm going to be healthier. But I'm not going to come out the other side of it. And be like, you know what everyone should do? Should sack off everything they're doing for 20 days, <laughs> cycle a thousand miles and play golf every other day because you know what? It's going to make you so healthy. It's going to make you so happy. You know, all your anxiety is going to go away. The world's going to be a better place. It's not. 
It's bollocks. <laughs> it's just bollocks. I can't. I can't be having it. Honestly. So you, what you're telling me is you don't feel like you're gonna. There's that sort of. Uh, you say there's like there's that runner's high. You're not gonna have that like biker's <laughs> high sort of epiphany moment where. Six hundred quid there. <laughs> you're still on that. Six hundred quid. No, yeah, it's no, not gonna. You're no, not gonna have that one moment where no, you're no, like, no, the runners high, bikers high, all, all that kind of stuff. Where like you get that rush of endorphins and all that. I, I get it, and I, I do. I just don't like the, I, the the best way I can put it, and the best way I, it really annoys me is when the when you look at it, like diary. By the way, diary. I know we're using kind of this as an example. And I've actually listened to. Them. I've got some good I stuff mean, it's from like them. biggest podcast in the world. Yeah, yeah. Much, and, so it's, and, it's, and it is good. I like, get some really good guests, really yeah. good information. So it's not kind of not him, but it's more the idea that you get people on a podcast and they they explain what they're doing and and they give this impression that if you strive to be perfect in everything and you do something, you know positive every day and you see it like on their LinkedIn and their Twitter I was up at 6am this morning I was in the gym for two hours then I did an hour of recovery oh. then I did an hour of meditation and then I ate a healthy blueberry and oatmeal breakfast then I had a cold press fruit juice mixed with kale because all it was really <laughs> and then I you know shifted my workload answered all my emails at a coffee shop it's like it's not it's not real yeah. life like these people exist in a, their own little bubble well. and then expect that everybody can follow what they do. And it's just <laughs> not this <laughs> true. It's just, it just doesn't work. It's just not well, practical. You know, don't get me started on the early riser group. I, I'm, oh. I'll, I will argue that to them. I'm really tempted. I'm way. really tempted to clip this because I want to be. I'll uh, do it. There's going to be someone that's going to be like, it's going to be go from like, reduce your anxiety by doing this. To just, this is a load of. <laughs> <laughs> all of this <laughs> just like imagine your TikTok page no it's, yeah it's just yeah l listen the, ev everything everything that you read everything that you see as far as like cold water immersion it will work yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it will work there's absolutely no doubt and there's no doubt that like meditation definitely helps for some people and obviously being healthy and all the rest of it but it's just when it's foisted upon you and said you need to do this you need to do this because you will be healthier you will not a healthy person unless, unless you, do, you do this yeah. you can't recover unless you're emerging yourself in minus six degree water for half an hour a morning <laughs> buy this pod buy this pod this is a cold water remorse buy this pod if you don't get this you're not perfect <laughs> and it's like no just just stop it we've, we've made it as far as we have now in life so and I've not had any cold water immersion <laughs> this, so <laughs> this was meant to be a quick podcast hey look, hey look we're, what, we're what, a gold what, podcast first and we're a realism podcast second what, what, yeah. what I'm doing is I'm just I'm psyching myself up with this right. Yeah, get yourself so, amped so up. So when I finally hit that hill, I'm like, <laughs> it's like I'm running away from the cold water version. Yeah. 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 Like all this boils down to I just coming from cold behind. water. We'll come back in uh, next episode and he'll be in the uh, 600 pound pants. <laughs> <laughs> I am tempted to give it a go. See, see, that's the thing. I am tempted to to give these a go. The the best thing about these things as well is, oh my god, they literally go up to 1,200 quid. Yeah, I don't know if you've got that. What's the What's the difference? I've got a simplified version. There's a wireless version. What do you need a wireless version well, for? You, you, you take it ah, on the go. Ah, right. So okay. you can Bluetooth your phone to it and... A speaker. It's got yeah. a speaker in yeah. it. It's got a JBL speaker in it. It's voice activated. <laughs> Bluetooth. Oh, what did JBL? Oh, just is, is that the most bad speaker because you got the headphones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're looking at? What did you say? Other yeah. speaker options are available. available. <laughs> We're being very BBC about that. I don't think I don't think people are going to come after us if we don't keep doing that. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's only because at one point, like we're hopefully going to get a sponsor of like headphones or and like then we will have cold, to cold, yeah, water, cold water immersion tubs. Yes. We'll be yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be <promoting. laughs> look, to be honest, look, we are and you are by the sound of things the perfect audience or target for these cold water immersion people to come to because if you are changed, then that could be a great advert for it. No, but that again, that's the kind of person that I don't want to be. If it, if I did it and it worked for me, I'd be like, you know what? You'd I've still steal it. It's I, crap. No, I've I've done this, and you know what? It's worked for me. I, I think it's all right. There you go. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. Make there your you own go. decision. You're not. Yeah, you're there not you telling go. people what to what they can and can't do, sort of. Yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah. Or, or should do to be a perfect 
a, a perfect example yeah. of a modern day man. Of a healthy modern of day man. Of a healthy modern day yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's just bollocks. I'll right. eat my Mackies and. Right. I, no, I, that's I, not good for you, though. No, I will still do it, though. Like, do not eat McDonald's. It's not good for you. Other fast food restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you need to right, get yeah, on. I need to get right. on. Um, so, guys, I just want to say a huge thank you uh, for listening. Huge thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't followed us on your favorite podcast provider, make sure you do that. And mm -hmm. I can't believe that you haven't already if you're listening to this. Shocking. Um, if, you, if, you, if you're if you coming over from uh, the Cold Water Immersion podcast to replay this clip... Um, <laughs> Welcome. Uh, this is the real world. So we'll <laughs> come and and join us. We'll, yeah, come join us. Here. It's great. It's great. It's a great, great time. Cool. Right. Uh, and uh, and one more thing: just donate oh, no, to the no. page as well. And donate to if you you know if you haven't donated already, please donate to to Pete. It's, uh, he's doing it for a great cause. So yeah, and he's yeah. doing well. Yeah, em empty that cold water immersion. Yeah. Um, Saving fund. <laughs> <laughs> just give it a it. <laughs> you know what? It, that, you know that annoys me though. That annoys me as well, like the cost of them. <laughs> right. It's, it's a tub. Fade it out. It's fade, a tub. Fade it out. It's, it's a tub. Fade of it water. out. Fade it out. And it's like 600 quid for a tub of water. <laughs> <laughs>